Hello and welcome to this how-to video from Blue Prism University. During this video, you'll learn how to use tags to get work queue items in Blue Prism. A tag is a keyword which can be assigned to work queue items. It can then be used when getting items from the work queue, as you can filter queue items to include or exclude items with a specific tag. Please ensure you are familiar with how to add or remove tags from work queue items prior to watching this video. Visit the Blue Prism University for more information on adding tags to work queue items. In Blue Prism, when using the Get Next Item action, you can set the tag filter input parameters to filter for items with a specific tag, filter for items without a specific tag, filter for items with multiple tags assigned, unassigned, or a combination, filter for items using wildcards. Let's take a look at setting the tag filter in Blue Prism. Open your process, then the Get Next Item action. On the Inputs tab, enter the required tag in the Tag Filter value field. Optionally, you can prefix the tag with the plus symbol. If no symbol is entered into the tag filter, Blue Prism assumes the plus value by default, meaning that the tag value should be included. In this example, the process will only retrieve items from the work queue which have been tagged business customer. Next, let's take a look at how to exclude work queue items based on their tag. Again, open the Get Next Item action and on the Input tab, enter the tag filter you wish to exclude. Ensure that the text is prefixed with the minus symbol. In this example, the process will retrieve all items from the work queue except those which have been tagged business customer. It is possible to include a combination of tags in the tag filter field. Multiple tags should be separated by a semicolon. For example, plus business customer, semicolon minus in arrears, would return items for only business customers who are not tagged as in arrears. Finally, you can also use wildcards in a tag filter. The question mark symbol is used to search for any single character, whereas the asterisk symbol can be used to search for any other characters in the tag. For example, setting the tag filter to plus priority question mark, semicolon minus credit card colon asterisk will include any items which have a tag beginning with priority followed by a single digit, but must not contain a tag beginning with credit card. Thank you for watching this video on using tags to get work queue items in Blue Prism. If you want to learn more about any of the Blue Prism products, please visit the Blue Prism University via the link in the description below. Or visit Blue Prism University community to get support from other members and participate in various discussions. Again, there's a link in the description below.